Jessie B. Scrap looking back with another process video. This one is for 30 Days of Sketches. Here's the sketch. It's by Brenda Ragsdale. And I picked out these papers and some scraps to um, use for the paper for the um, layout. And I have these two pictures. They're squares, but I don't know how they'll work with them being two different sizes, but we'll try. And uh, yeah, let's get going. Okay, so off camera, I went ahead and cut two circles. Um, I just used a um, compass and just drew circles on the back of some pattern paper and um, yeah, cut them out. So now I'm trying to figure out how I want to do the tag and I want to do it um, with this hello paper. So you have to make sure that, you know, the hellos are not upside down or sideways. So I was trying to figure out how to do that. And I am going to do the banners just like it is in the sketch. And I really, really like how this one turned out. It's nice and colorful and cheerful. And um, the pictures are pictures of myself headed to, I'm thinking I was headed to volleyball to watch my niece play volleyball. And um, I have on my school pride earrings. And so I, my friend had made these earrings for me. So I took a picture and sent them to her um, just to show her that, yes, I was wearing the lovely earring she sent me. And um, so I decided I needed some uh, white mat around my pictures to help it, um, uh, to help them pop off the page because there is a lot of color and pattern on this page. And which is okay. I like that. <laughs> but the pictures, I didn't want them to get lost. Our school colors are actually white and red. And that's why the red hearts are in the background. And But I end up using quite a bit of orange on this um, layout. But that's fine. <laughs> I get tired of doing red and white layouts for uh, <laughs> school pride pictures. So... Um, I'm just going to, um, yeah, embrace the orange in this one. Okay, I'm using my ruler here to make sure I get this banner. So it looks like one continuous banner and not um, two chunks that have been stretched. And I like that. And I'm using this um, little leftover piece from another layout as the little... Um, shelf for the pictures to sit on and I knew I wasn't going to be able to get uh, put the ATG on that and then try to slide it under so I'm just using a little bit of um, liquid glue because you have a little bit more time to play with it and slide it and uh, yeah so I decided I wanted more than what the um, sketch had so I grabbed this pattern paper of beautiful flowers and I'm going to fussy cut some out. Two full ones and then um, I think four half ones or that were on the edge. And so I'm just going to strategically place them all the way around so that you can't tell that they're halves. And they were blending into each other way too much. So I'm just going to use some ink here. Um, it's like a, a permanent ink that I'm using. And just in black and went around all the edges just to help them so they don't look um, all like one big blob <laughs> and, and then I also am going to put a little bit of fun foam on the edge of some of the um, flowers I don't do the whole flower just where it's overlapping another flower so it gives it that shadow and lets it pop up nicely and I'll do it in both of these clusters here. There we go. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to remind you this is a hop. Um, lots of people playing along. So I have all the um, channel links down below. Not everybody plays every day. So if there's they don't have a um, video up, that's okay. They might have something else fun to look at. And uh, yeah, just uh, go ahead and check everybody out 
that is doing it. I know Christy is doing it every day. She is the one that is um, in charge of all of this and she's been doing it for a long time. So yeah, go make sure you check her out. And um, yeah, so I'm going to fussy cut three of these um, butterflies out. And just like they have it up in the top corner, um, I'm also going to put them in the same corner but I'm only using three and they're all the same size but I like the way they look so here I'm going to pop up just one um, feather no one wing of um, the butterflies and so it gives it that little bit of movement it's still one wing is flat to the page and the other one is popped up except for that very back one it's just here flat and I like the way that that looks so now I'm going to put my title in and I should have done my title off um, screen um, just because I don't want the name of uh, my school um, to show. So I just cover it up and that's why you don't uh, get to see it. <laughs> but um, it's just because I do have um, nieces and nephews that go to that school still. So I just don't want it to show. So I'm going to do that. I um, did outlined everything in black uh, like a faux stitching just to help give it some more definition. And now I am going to put um, sequins, red sequins, kind of trailing down from the butterflies down to the bottom uh, cluster of flowers. And I think this looks really cute. I used two different size sequins in the red. I start with the gold thinking that that would look good and didn't like it at all. So I'm changing it <laughs> and I'm going to use um, the, just the red sequins and I think it looks really pretty. So as soon as I'm done with that, I believe this layout is done. Um, it was a lot of fun to do. I will. Um, be back again tomorrow with another 30 days of sketches so stay tuned if you like what you see please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe and thank you so much for watching it's uh it's so exciting when i see new subscribers and every time i see someone has watched one of my videos and it just it's very exciting so thank you so much for that and here are the close-ups thanks for watching bye